COVID-19 crisis has brought about unprecedented changes in our lives. We find ourselves in situations not of our own choosing, but imposed by external circumstances. Now this means that in order for us to save the academic year 2020, we also have to take into consideration the principle of saving lives, which is more primary. Many of our colleges have made initiatives to ensure that they support students in remote learning. This includes lessons which are broadcast on How TV, which are then packaged and distributed to you, the students, via WhatsApp, our department's uh, website, and also various institutions' website. These lessons are meant to support you in this particular crisis over and above the fewer and shorter lectures, contact lectures that you will be getting, these lessons will be more valuable for you to be able to pass in this particular academic year. We therefore call on all students not to see this as a moment of despair, but to see this as an opportunity to use all these available resources to support your own learning and teaching. I wish you all the best. Let's save lives. Let's save the academic year 2020. My name is S.P. Tobela. I'm a lecturer at Atlanta and Tivet College at Mashishin Campus under the program Engineering Related Design. So today, I will be looking at engineering system in QF level two. Our topic will be selecting engineering systems applications. On our previous lesson of which it was lesson three, we were focusing on gear belt, of which we discussed the type of gear belt, their functions, and also look at the calculation of gear belt. So today, I want us to check the belt drive. What do you mean if you say belt drive? A belt drive is a, is a component which is used to transmit power from one shaft to another. Therefore, if you can look from our picture, there's a motor. What can you see from that picture? From that picture, we have a belt drive where you see the two pulley that are connected by, by a belt. And therefore, I want us to look at the types of belts. The types of belts we refer to V-belt, flat belt, V-ripped belt, and two-third belt. So then I want us to check what do you mean by V-belt. You say V-belt, they are normally used in industrial application e.g. pedestal drilling machine, pumps, and miling machine. And that picture shows V belt. And then I want us to check the flat belt. Where are they used? We say the flat belt are used in farming and mining. And you can also see the picture that shows us the felt belt. And it says they can also be used to transport large amounts of wood over long distances. Meaning that if you want to transport large amounts of wood in an industry, they prefer to use flat belts. We're going, also going to see, to discuss, we're also going to discuss the V repaired belt. As we can see the picture there of a V repaired belt, of which we say is a single belt with multiple V ribbed. It's a single belt with multiple V ribbed. You also say that they are used in various applications such as car, cars, compressors, and washing machines. Meaning that even if washing machines uses electricity, still it has the component of a belt. Then lastly, we'll look at the two-third belt. As you can see from the picture how a two-third belt look like, and we say that is a type of a belt that offers a positive drive with no form of shape. And therefore, the V belt, we have types of V belt. And remember, a V belt look like this, where we have a pulley. Mm. 
We also have another pulley, but they are connected by a belt. So this is our this is our belt. So now you say, what do we understand by a driver pulley? A driver pulley say is attached to the main shaft of a motor. Of means this one, if it's attached to the motor, you say it's a driver pulley. It's a it's a driver pulley. And we also have a driven pulley, of which it says is attached to the main part of the working part of the machine. So if you can check from our pulley, this is our driven pulley. Of which you say it must be attached to the main part of a working machine. And then we have an Aigla pulley. An idler pull, you say, is attached when a driver and a driven are far apart to adjust the tension. So if the pulleys were far apart, we are going to introduce an idler pulley. An idler. An idler pulley. So then, since now we understand what, is, what, what do you mean by a driver pulley, an idler pulley, and a driven pulley? Now I want us to check the advantages and the disadvantages of a belt drive. Then firstly, we'll focus on the advantages, of which we say no lubrication is required. Belt drives are self-lubricated. Don't, don't need to, to lubricate. And then number two, we say the minimal maintenance. They need minimal maintenance. Remember, most of the engineering applications, they need more of lubricant. But then since our belt drives, they don't need to be lubricated. That's why you say it's minimized or it needs a minimal of maintenance. And then thirdly, we say they are quiet and smooth in operation, meaning that they are not noisy, unlike other application systems. And then we'll focus on the disadvantages. What do you mean by the disadvantages of a belt drive? Number one, you say belts usually cannot be repaired. When they break, they must be replaced. So that's one of the advantage, disadvantages that we have if we're operating belt drive, that you need to replace them instead of repairing them. And number two, we say slippage can okay. Remember, if we are working with fluid, obvious there will be a slippage. So that is why you say it's also one of our disadvantages. Then now let us focus on the safety measures that must be observed when working with belt drive. First to say, never remove safety guard in a machine. Never remove a safety guard in a machine. Remember that a safety guard is meant to protect you when operating that particular machine. And secondly, you say, switch the machine off before replacing or adjusting V-belt. You must make sure that your machines are off to avoid injuries. And thirdly, we say, keep the belt free from dust. So the belt must be always be kept clean. And lastly, we say you must make sure the pulley are aligned correctly. Then if we, if it's, um, lastly, we say, make sure the pulley are aligned correctly. Meaning that remember we're working with belt drive, then the pulleys are connected with the, with the belt. So you must make sure that they are aligned together. So now let us look at the belt drive calculation. And then we have our example, of which is example one. It says a machine must be driven by 20 frames per second from a belt pulley of 700 millimeters diameter revolving at eight rams per second. Then our given data, let's just look at our given data. Our given data. Remember they say it's a driven pulley and a drive pulley. So, let's say this, there it be our driver pulley. 
and this one be our driven driven pulley remember they are connected together by a by a belt and then the statement says a machine must be driven by oh, the, the, then the statement says a machine must be driven at 20 revs per second driven at of which your rotational frequency let's say this is b and then let me make this a so the rotational frequency of a driven pulley of which is nb it will be 20 revolutions per second and it says from a belt pulley of 700 millimeters from meaning the diameter of a driven pulley it's given by 700 millimeters and it says revolving at 8 revs per second which is the speed we say it's revolving at revs per second and then the question says determine the diameter of a pulley on the machine the fish this will be the diameter for of the pulley of which it's be it's unknown and then if you can check from a given data we have the diameter of a driver pulley of 700 millimeters we have the rotational frequency of a driver pulley of which we are given as 8 rems per second and we are also given the rotational frequency of a driven gear of which is 20 revs per second but you're supposed to calculate the diameter of a driven pulley then you say your na of which is the, the speed the frequency speed of a driver pulley times the diameter a is the same as and b times the diameter b then now we substitute and A, it's 8. The diameter given is 700. The rotational speed given is 20. Now, we calculate your unknown. Of which our dB is the diameter of our driven pulley. So we say 8 times 700, of which we'll get 5,000. 600 is equal to 20 diameter of pulley B. Therefore, since we are looking for the diameter for a pulley B, we divide by 20 both sides. Of which the diameter of a pulley B is given by 5,600 divided by 20. Therefore, we we'll get 280 millimeters so this is how we calculate a belt drive calculation so now we're going to look at another example of a engineering application of which we say it's chain drives what do you mean by train drives or what are train drives we say train drives are components that also transmit power from the driving sprocket to the driving sprocket. Now you can be able to do the calculation of a chain, chain drives. Therefore, our example says a car drive has a driven pulley of 30 teeth and a driver pulley of 60 teeth. Then the question says, Calculate the rotational frequency of a driven pulley if the rotational frequency of a driving pulley is 15 revs per second. So then you say this will be our driver, our driver pulley, our driver pulley, and also have our. 
our driven pulley. Our driven pulley, we say it's B, and let's make our driver pulley to be labeled it A. And therefore, they say the driven pulley have 30 teeth. So, the teeth have 30 teeth, of which it's our tip B. And the driver pulley have 60 teeth, of which is 60 teeth. And then it says, Calculate the rotational frequency of a driven pulley. Rotational frequency of a driven pulley. You're supposed to calculate it. And we are given the rotational frequency of the driving pulley as 15. Of which our NA is given as 15 revs per second. So now, since we have our data here, you can be able to calculate of which NA times TA is the same as NB times TB, where our NA is 15 reps per second, and our TA given as 60 equals to our NB is the unknown, and our TB given as 30. So you see, 15 times 60, we get 900. And then we say NB times 30 is 30. And B, and since we are looking for the rotational frequency, we divide both sides by 30, because we want the NB to be the subject of the formula. So we divide both sides by 30. Then the 30 will cancel with 30, and therefore you'll have your NB, of which it will be, if you say 900 divided by 30, you'll get 30 revs per second. So this is how we're supposed to calculate the chain drive. So this will be the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any question, you can follow us on our website, Officials Atlanta and Tibet College. You can also contact us on our social media platform. On Facebook, it's Atlanta and Tibet College. On YouTube, it's Atlanta and Tibet College. And at Twitter, it's Atlanta and Tibet. Thank you. Greetings to everyone who's taking their time to watch this video. I'm going to talk about the project of mass production that GS College is undertaking in partnership with FPNM CETA, which is the sponsor and the funder of the project, uh, in partnership as well with the Office of the Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Training. I have the samples of the masks that the, the students and our SMMEs are doing for us. We are producing these beautiful masks for staff and for students at the college. We've got different types of these masks. Uh, I just wanted to show them on the video that we are having uh, this mask for you at the college. So you can choose a design that matches with your outfit, you know. We're giving two per staff member and two per student. So we, we comply to the regulation of COVID-19 to put on your mask always, sanitize as frequent as possible, wash your hands as frequent as possible, observe and practice social and physical distancing for yourself and for other people. It's important for you not to forget to study. COVID must not make you forget your future and your books. It's very important that you put on a mask, go to college, go to work, live your life. Don't be delayed by the conditions. 
To our CEO of the FPNM CETA, Ms. Feleng Yende and her team, we are grateful for the funding and the partnership. Uh, to Ms. Florence Masebe from the Office of the Deputy Minister of Higher Education, Science and Innovation, we are very grateful. And to the Deputy Minister himself, Mr. Butima Namela, we are grateful for the partnership, uh, for the recognition, for the support. We are rising together and we will conquer this. Hashtag save lives is our primary goal and hashtag save the academic year.